fact that I've covered George Steinbrenner for 35 years, I felt that I was the right person to do this book, maybe the only person to do this book. As Jennifer Steinbrenner herself said to me a few years ago, when she was hoping that someone was going to write the definitive story about her father. Uh, originally she had suggested that I do it with him, but I told her that that was never going to be the case. I could never do the book with George. I don't think anybody could have done a book with him. And I was most gratified over the fact that I interviewed over 150 people for this book, and they all trusted me to tell their stories, and they all cooperated with me. And uh, that was a very gratifying thing because it, this, this book couldn't have been done without the cooperation of all those people. The title of the book is The Last Lion of Baseball, and that's really what George was. I mean, he was the, he was the owner who roared the loudest, who made the most, most noise, and made the most commotion, and had the most impact on the game. Seven world championships is sufficient evidence to that. And I think George will ultimately be remembered as the guy who saved the Yankees from the ruins of CBS and uh, brought them back to their glory days of the, from the 20s through the, 50, uh, through the 60s. And um, I think New York fans certainly will regard him as one of the greatest owners uh, that ever was, even though, ironically, when they were at their lowest ebb under George's reign there during his suspension years in the late 1980s, they were booing him. They were saying that Steinbrenner must go. They were chanting all of these things. Uh, but when he came back and restored them once again to world championship status, all of that was forgotten. I personally think that certainly he must be considered for the Baseball Hall of Fame, considering all that he accomplished in the time he was with the Yankees, twice restoring them to world championship status. But again, I'm going to leave that up to the readers and the powers that be in baseball on the Hall of Fame Veterans Committee or whatever to decide exactly what his true legacy is.